All right. All right, I've consumed the rest of the lemon heads that I have, and I am good to go.
Ugh. Shoot, I forgot to grab my phone. Now that I have acquired my phone, I think it's good time to start. So, hello. Last a little bit longer than I thought. Hello, and welcome to a Sunday edition of Retro and Crapsody. So today, uh, we are fulfilling a uh, one of the Retro Rank Relief Drive um, kind of milestones. And I think it was the two... I think it was a 225... Uh, goal for quarter one of 2022 that I would do a full playthrough of the PC-88 port of Super Mario Brothers known as Super Mario Brothers Special. So if you had not seen the original uh, look at this game, um, this is a port, as I mentioned, of Super Mario Brothers for the NES to the PC-88 computer, although it also came out for the Sharp X1 and I think one other platform. Um, but... Hudson had a deal with Nintendo that allowed them to bring some of their... Because Nintendo wasn't going to waste resources porting stuff to, um, you know, computers, which they had no interest in. And Hudson saw the potential that, oh, hey, Super Mario Bros. is doing really well, and we're currently making stuff for the PC-88. Uh, so why don't we get the license to make a port of Super Mario Bros. for the PC-88? And that is exactly what this is. This is Hudson Soft make, remaking Mario Brothers for a platform that really sh couldn't handle the uh, kind of the stuff that P uh, Super Mario Brothers uh, requires. Super Mario Brothers really using the scrolling capabilities of the, the NES to its capabilities. The PC-88 did scrolling not well. It didn't do a whole lot of things graphically well unless it was like static pictures really action games on the pc88 tend to be kind of not that great uh they're not terrible but also it is you can tell this is not what the system was meant for uh or it is you know it was originally meant to be i believe it was originally meant to just be you know a computer that you would do like kind of just more computer stuff like early 80s computer stuff like you know, world processing and stuff like that. Uh, it just happened to also handle games in a way that technically it handles it, but whether or not it handles it well is, you know, kind of not that. Um, so, yeah. Um, I'm trying to think what else I should mention. Um, I can't really think of much else. I guess let's just go ahead and start. So, oh, whoops, ignore that. So, this is Super Mario Brothers Special. Um, the transfers are trying to touch. Oh, that is uh, God of Protectors Amazon's running diet, which is actually, uh, because the Switch version of that is finally going to translate to English, that is at their limited run games is actually doing a promotion where you can actually get a physical card of that. It's also not a good sign when your computer thing is not handling the game well. So yeah, this is Super Mario Brothers special. Let's actually, you know, start. All right. Oh, so also I think immediately part of the problem is this handles terribly. Uh, also, the way that I got this bound is backwards, but it should be fine. Yeah, so the PC88 couldn't scroll, so enjoy that. Uh, there's a version of this game in which you um, 
It has... It doesn't have smooth scrolling, but it will, like... It's kind of hard to describe. Also, I do have Rewind available for me. Oh, also, I just realized. I don't need this. There we go. Oh, also, I don't need this or this. There we go. Okay. Yeah, it could handle much better graphics than this, but I think it was more... I don't know. Might have been this? There we go. Oh yeah, I got fireworks. Yeah, I forgot, or I'm not 100% certain what mode this is using. Yep. Because, yeah, also I'm pretty certain that, uh, oh, this is, that is rough. I'm pretty certain that, um, oh, that, uh, I forgot what I was going to say. I love you can tell that it's like redrawing it like I have no idea Thank you. 
Oh, good lord! <laughs> what? Yeah, I don't think they programmed the uh, fire bars correctly. Yep, not going to be able to do that. That's what I asked. I, I don't... I mean, if it was a PC-98, PC would definitely be able to handle, like, probably the original Mario Bros. Uh-oh. And I believe I'm running it on that mode. All right, what what prediction are you thinking? Is it whether or not I'm actually making through this? What is that piranha plant? Yeah, I am gonna try and, cause I think I remember where some of them are. Oh shit. No, I'm finishing it. I meant, I... I put it on my word, I'm finishing the- well, okay, I'm getting a full stream out of this. If I don't beat it in three hours... Then, that I might concede. I am not right- I'm not finishing it early. Oop. Okay. Yeah, because I'd imagine that's where you're going to get, like, your stuff, like... You know what, I'm not even bothering with it. That's a trap. Okay, I might take a look at that later. A lot later, but I'll take a look at it in a sec. Uh, it is really hard to play. <laughs> So, uh, I was thinking of taking a look at the Sharp X1 version, but I don't have... 
I don't have the ability to do so. Or I, d I don't have my sharp or the sharp X one. So Mario. Okay. Technically, yes, it is better on sharp, but. There we go. Yeah, I've seen some of those, like, counterfeit ones. Yeah, I'm kind of hoping that too. second. Oh, I see. Yeah, that was what I was thinking of just maybe hoping making a safe state there. Judge, I just realized just so I don't accidentally Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. 
God, the frame rate just completely plummets whenever there's a uh, fire bar on screen. If <laughs> I don't know if you can tell there, but oh, what? Whoop. Yeah, that's why I, I kind of had this as a had a um as a donation incentive. Oh, that's just a oh, okay. Okay, I remember there being a bonus. Oh, well, I guess I'm not getting that. backwards. Uh, this came out in 
So this was kind of contemporary with the original's release. Oh god, there we go. There. Oh no! I think with Commander Kane, though, is that that was for platforms that had much, uh, better specs. Yeah, it's just that the spec- this was not made for- this platform was not made for this kind of thing. Also, it's gonna be a nightmare. Hey, come on! Go, 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 go! Oh, shoot. Yeah, the, okay, the FM7 was the other one I was thinking of. Every time I rewind, it kills any momentum that I had. Oh good, as long as the potable is on screen, it makes the frame rate go... Thirty minutes in, and we are already okay. Okay, I am going to pause real quick because I think that there's a secret here. Let me actually just take a quick look to see. It. Okay, there's another thing there. Okay, there's just that thing. Okay. Got also that lack too looks so weird. Yeah, great use of that, uh...
Okay. Let's see, is there anything in here? Okay. I mean, also the thing is, this was done by Hudson. Like, this is done by people who know how to make games. I'm pretty sure this came out the same year they made- Oh, that was dumb, that was dumb. Oh, okay. Yeah, I've never been Mylon Secret Castle. Okay. It might, who knows? <laughs> I'm certainly not uh, adept enough to do this. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on. I'm free! Hello. Okay, let's see, what do I got here? Or three. Do, 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 do. Looks like nothing. Okay. Thank you. 
Whoop. Come on. That's not gonna do. Nope. Oh shoot! Okay, I'm trying to... Okay, I think I'm right here. One second. I think something glitched out. There's supposed to be a uh, thing right there. I think it would be anti-piracy protection. Let me just, maybe it just glitched out. Okay, let me make sure that's... Okay. Maybe it's just... okay.
That's a slight problem. Give me one second. Uh, I think that version of the game is busted. Thankfully, we have another. <laughs> so, this is an alternate version of the game that I got that... Uh, it has, like, a proper scrolling. I mean, if I can't beat it by legitimate mean, like... That's probably, like... I, there's not much I can do about that, so... I'm just gonna have to deal. Oh, right. Also, I can show for the Hudson Vias. Oh, wait. See if I can recreate. Oh, I can only hit it, like, two or three times. Okay. Okay, whatever. Trying to figure out... Oh, there it is. Okay, let me see if there are any... Maybe there are warps. There are not. Thank you. 
All right. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, huh. That's weird. Yeah, I figured it wasn't copy protection. What, uh, what do I need to do in order to progress? That's weird. Okay, you know what? <laughs> Screw this. The only problem with being small is I just realized I'm going to have to run over uh, Bowser. There we go. 
I appreciate the one actually properly colored cheap cheap. Mario, but what if it was yellow? God, this just reminds me kind of a Fortran Mario from that uh, bootleg. <laughs> yes. Mario, work with me. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, it's a Mario from a bootleg, uh, a bootleg, um, I can't remember if it was ta Taiwanese or if it was what it was, but it was from a bootleg, it was a bootleg Mario slot machine Famicom game. And it just looked very disorienting. I have not actually ranked any Flintstones games, so no, we have not. I've not done Granddad. I think I might be required by law that if I do that game, that I have to do the Granddad 7 version. I've never actually sat down and watched Vine Sauce stuff. Oh, uh, I think. Oh, nope. Go, 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 go. Hey, shark. <laughs> yeah, because I'm trying to think. It's like, okay, you have that game. Whoop.
Come on. Come on. Yeah. Okay. I don't see what the problem is. Shit. <laughs> It's supposed to be wings. Not a great choice. <laughs> back to where we were. <laughs> Uh, a lot. I've also had to restart the game. <laughs> In the, even though it turns out I didn't have to restart the game. We 
We... Oh, okay. Nope. Uh, it's probably because Mario or er, Mario, probably because Nintendo doesn't want to acknowledge this game's existence. Was there really so much things on screen that it didn't spawn? The yeah, there's so many I think enemies on screen that it can't spawn the bonuses. Mario, or did, I don't know why I keep on calling him Mario. I don't think Nintendo acknowledges or how they must have. Oh, you garbage! Wait, can I? Uh, go, 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 Wait, what? Uh... I see. That's a slight problem. Okay, there we go. Oh, hey, it's the... That's right. I was gonna say, I, I, I could technically test it, but also I don't want to risk it. Oh. Well, the 
Kai so the Kaiser block was part of a thing that let you jump over it so that um there's a I like that the rewind is just putting me back further and further. Uh it was so that we can get a secret over the pipe. There we go. Yeah. I think it's the other one, because it broke really quickly. It's not that one. I think it's this one. Yep, there it is. I feel like I should get points for jumping over the barrels if they're gonna do that. Okay, is it? This is true. I... Yeah, I remember that from yesterday. Hudson. Okay. So before I can I'm trying to do this. There. Uh before I continue, I will be right back. Oh. Why is it not uh connecting? Oh. You know, I'm right there. I'll be right back. <laughs>
All right. Yeah, that's still not working. Oh, whatever. Are any of the, the, these things working? Okay, that is working. Because for some reason my BRB is not working. Alright. Back to this. Yeah, if we hit the 8 4 bug, then I. I don't have anything I can do. Because. <laughs> Let's see if I can. Actually, let's see. It, does 5 1 have anything? Oh, it's the, the fly things from, uh... Oh, I guess the hammer didn't do anything. Perfect. Come on. 
Yeah, it can kind of... Because sometimes it has some interesting call. Like, it's not, like, completely terrible. I appreciate that you could tell at the transition that they're warping Mario backwards. Thank you. 
Yep. I appreciate that this thing is even impossible to get. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Just mad that that's gonna. I'm never gonna be able to pull something off just like that. Ever again. Yep. We 
We did not get the PC-88. The only- I'm pretty certain the only country that got the PC-88 was Japan. Because I know a bunch of countries got the MSX, but not this. But yeah, it's a real shame what happened with the id thing, because that's actually really neat. And thankfully, it's publicly dumped. Oh, huh, actually I didn't... I did not realize that. Also, I... I... I don't know why, but why are Mario's hands red? this. There we go. Nailed it. <laughs> really needed that. I have no idea. see Wait. Okay. Okay. Give me one second. <laughs> okay, what the hell is this?
Okay, that just takes you there. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> Can I actually? Oh, hey, it's the barrel. F it's the fire. Huh. Oh, 
Okay, that looks weird. It seemed pretty accurate, except for there was one thing that they didn't do right, which, or that they didn't get right, which it's fine, because it seems like in this version you had to break a. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> uh, but it seemed pretty accurate. Alright, here's a moment of truth. Or not. Is this a moment of truth? Okay, here's the moment of truth. Hey! <sighs> I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, I don't, I don't, they must, because the thing, I wonder if the Sharp X1 was the home platform, because that has some better scrolling, question mark? Oh no. They are, I mean, they are beatable, but also, it's a bit ridiculous. Oh god. Oh, thank god. Oh, Nelly. Yeah, because remember on the other version, it, the screen just goes black. So you don't even have any bit between levels. God! Oh, God damn it! <laughs> Holy... God, the fact that it's slowing down is also not helping. Oh, you pee. <laughs> that is... Dick move. Yeah, this is like... This is a little bit... Are you kidding me? Okay, thankfully that's not... You can just hold down the button. That is ridiculous. Okay, almost there. I, like... Okay, come on. You know, it actually doesn't matter. There we go.
I am the greatest player. Congratulations! Oh jeez, that's... Okay. Congratulations. By the way, to prove a point, Princess Peach in 1986. Noko noko red, pata pata. Killer! I like that it's just an enemy, it's called Killer. Thank you. So new characters. Uh, so the Hachitsuke is the um, uh, Hudson B. Hummer. We saw clock. We didn't see. And the lucky star is the thing in four two that killed everything on screen. So. There we go. That was Super Mario Brothers Special. I did do it. It's a full playthrough. So. There is that. So. That is enough of that. <laughs> yeah, no, no, <laughs> no. Uh, actually, technically, uh, Jeff Gerson of Giant, uh, Giant Bomb did actually play through that entirely. Uh, there is a really easy to do uh, Koopa Troopa uh, thing where you just keep on bouncing and you'll eventually get just pretty much get infinite lives. Um, so that is a way that you can do that. Um, so yeah, um, we have that at 21, 
Uh, that's a 21. <laughs> like that is not. Uh, I beat it. Also, man, it is really weird looking at something with color right now. Uh, I think the overflow does happen. Uh, but it's the same as you can get a, a lot of lives. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, that is a 21. Like, uh, that is nigh unplayable. Um, without a judicious amount of rewinding or save states. It, and I feel like, yeah, it is just horrendous. Uh, I cannot think of much else to, uh, say about that. Um, yeah. Uh, so, um, with that, um, I did mention that I was... Oh, come on. Did mention yesterday that... Uh, I did want, uh, there was a game that, uh, I did not get a chance to take a look at. And it was one that, uh, for, that was pulled and we did not get to play it. So we are going to play that right now. And fortunately, I have a very easy way of playing it. And now give me a moment. Um, there we go. That should be visible. And let's open up. So I'm pretty sure I got it on here. Be really silly if I didn't. Uh, let's take a look at this. Uh, the Fairyland story. Um, I have this on. Uh, well, boxes still contain non-emulated. Uh, I'm think I I'll think about it, and I have a month to think about it because uh, the retro rank relief for next month is going to be something specific that is not going to be opening boxes. So I'll have time to think about that. So. Uh, I have the Fairyland story here through the Arcade Archives. And last time when we looked at it, we looked at the X68K version, which is technically an enhanced version from this, but... I thought you'd take a look at that. And sorry, Kirby. <laughs> yep. Okay, Fairyland story. It is a 1995 Taito arcade game. So, what did I have? Oh, how do I do this? Also, I think it's slightly quiet. Okay, I did have it set to that. That's a smudge too loud. That should be good. Okay, so. This is a game that kind of predates... Okay, you gotta remember what the controls are. So this is kind of... Pre this predates Bubble Wobble. Oh, shoot. Oh, that works. It doesn't seem like it to be to me. It's... Yeah. Uh, yeah, so this is actually going to be in that, uh, new... In that new Taito collection. Uh, yes, you're... So you are the witch, uh, Ptolemy. I think that's how you're supposed to pronounce it. It's really loud. Oh shit! No, I know what's happening. Whoops, that's my bad. Oh, 
Okay, that's probably what the desync is. I forgot to mute the capture card. <laughs> Let's try this again. <laughs> How's that? <laughs> Oops. Okay. You have to fuck around with that. Cause yeah, if it's not too big of a deal. Yeah, Taiko's really good at character design. Oh, shoot. Yeah, I wonder... I tried... Hmm. Yeah, I think it's what what's ha... So, how I'm doing this is I'm using my... Oh, I'm gonna have to move that. Oh, no, I appreciate it, because I'm not gonna be... Some of these things, I'm just, it's really hard for me to tell. Oh, shoot. Oh. Lighter, <laughs> lighter, dude. <laughs> I think it, it's very minor, and I know what's going to cause it. But I think I just, I think I can know how to fix it. It's very minor, but it's like, if you are familiar with like looking at the stuff, it's probably something you can keep an eye. That's, okay, can't do that. I really hope this game has a continue function. <laughs> and yeah, this was a game we took a look at on the very first uh, episode. Oh. oh no! Also, uh, in Rainbow Islands, there is a special world based on this game. Oh, whoops. <laughs> there we go. It's all good. Okay, come on. Damn it. Also, man, Ptolemy's sprite is, like, super well animated for 1985. Like, I even think it's, like, more animated than Bubble- like, uh, uh, Bub and Bob from Bubble Bobble. Oh, shoot! Those things don't stay caked for long. Uh, it has to build up, is the thing. Okay, enter coin and hold jump spell- Okay. Uh, enter coin and hold jump spell and then press start button. There we go. Da, da, da. Yeah, I don't know why Taito games have like these really like elaborate continue schemes. Because Arkanoid is the same way. So what are these things?
Nope, damn it. Uh, so I know that Ptolemy shows up in Pop and Pop. I think she, I mean, she's- it would be very surprising if she didn't show up in other stuff. Ah! Okay, I didn't realize you can get smushed by your own cake. Nope, not today, Satan. Also, much like Bubble Bobble, this has a very co confusing, uh, uh, like, bonus system. Okay, I can't do it from the other side. Okay, I can't jump to there. This is a slight problem. And yeah, this game just kind of never got... This game kind of got never got the same love that uh, Bubble Bobble did. Which is a shame, because I think this game is really cool. Like, I don't think... Like... I still think I, I like Bubble Bobble as a whole more than this game. That was my fault. <laughs> that is one thing that I am a little bit... I would like a 3D thing. It's just so you can see that me just kind of facepalm. Okay, how do I do this? There's gotta be something I'm missing. Oh! Actually, I know what it is. Because... Providing they're not jumping... They can just, uh... You can walk on top of them. And yeah, so this is going to be in a thing called Taito Milestones uh, sometime soon. I don't know who's doing the uh, Taito Milestone thing, if that's like an M2 joint. I know that in for home, this didn't get a whole lot of home ports. Uh, as I mentioned, there's a Sharp X68K K port, which is actually very good. Like, I think it's as close to Arcade Perfect as you're gonna get in a home port. That's not like a relatively modern thing. Um, 
There's an MSX port, I believe? Which I kind of want to try. <laughs> I might actually load up the Mister in a second and actually try that out. I know I can do it. Because the thing is, I know that I can do this because I've done it before. That was developing themselves. Okay, that's good. Yeah, like, Hamster does a pretty decent job. But, uh... I just, uh, I'm just getting impatient. Oop, that's not gonna work. I will do this stage. Also, I do believe that this game did come out over here, and I think uh, Romstar was the distributor of it. Damn it. I did it. Be careful for worm, which is very important because <laughs> Yeah, cuz that's why you want to be careful for him. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, because they only do, they kind of play it safe with those, which is kind of unfortunate. Yeah, like, the unfortunate thing about uh, these arcade archives is I, I really wish that there was, like, save states. Shoot. Yeah, like, Capcom keeps on trying to do that.
Okay. There we go. <laughs> I'm surprised Namco isn't better about that. Nope. I think next game over, I'll switch over to something else. Like that. <laughs> okay. Oh! No, I don't. Okay. So, what all... A tile screen. It's care oh, of careful mode. For five minutes. Oh, actually, I don't actually do that. <laughs> And then high score mode is just probably one life without using saves. Oh, wait, wait. What? Is there save states and I didn't realize it? Oh. Create inner. Oh. Start from. I really wish they did that, like, by default and just said, hey, you're le you're quitting out. And there. Okay. What's, what's the manual? Let's see, continue. You can continue in rounds 1 through 7 or rounds 99 through 101. That's weird. Uh, let's see. The moon. Sometimes it's around with the moon up here. Almost. Okay. Let's shoot fire instead of magic. Transform into a mouse. Okay. Oh yeah, the devil is what uh, is the thing that you fight in Rainbow Islands as a boss. About lowest recorded score. Okay. Answer. Okay. Let's see if we can make the devil appear. Oh, okay. So if I, I wonder, I wonder if someone has done a playthrough that, uh, base if providing that the round layout provides it, that if you could just dodge the devil enough, just beat the entire game, just letting the time run out. But, yeah. 
Oh well, that's Fairyland story, at least the arcade version. Um, let me take a look. Let me actually, give me one second, because what I'm going to do... is I am just going to go ahead and boot this up. All right. Um, I know... Let's see how... Oh, it's not right. That's not... A, it's a computer game. Let's see. I, this should have the Fairyland story. Oh, right. It's not gonna... There we go. Okay. Nope. Nope. I think this is an MSX One game. Um. Is it under the? The Fairyland story. There we go. Now I think I need to turn. Oh, let's see, is that going to be good, or is it going to... Let's see. Okay. Well, it's working. The Fairyland story, presented by Hot B, uh, which is an interesting sign. Hot B is known for not great things. And that's an M6 version of a uh, Fairyland story. Let's start. Uh... Mister tends to be a case of if you can get it to run, it runs fine. It it requires more. I I would say it's a bit of a horse of peace. Um, both are kind of annoying to get set up. Uh, but once. I found that once I got this to run, this is giving me less issues in the middle of it. Yeah, I, this is a pretty competent port. Obviously not as flashy as the arcade version. But it does the job and it runs fairly well. I'm just wondering what the continuous situation on this is. Oops. Okay, looks like there's no continuous system. Oh well. What I do know what I do know has an, a continuous system is another port of that game. Which I'm pretty sure I was able to get this to run. This is going to be a little bit of a finicky thing because this uh, core is currently in beta. Uh, this is a Sharp X68K. And ignore some of the names of these games. Is it under Fairy Fairyland Story? I think it's a two disc game. Yes, it is.
There it is. And then I think a reset. This might take a little while to load because, you know, it's, this is a, it's emailing the rawest thing, so it's not meant to be convenient, so to speak. I'm pretty sure, or maybe it didn't. Oh, there it is. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't get lights like saying, hey, it's the disk drives being accessed. Fairyland story, ported by SPS. I appreciate this MS Paint ass logo or uh, loading screen. Oh, also, um, oh, also, I just realized I probably should have changed the uh, thing here. Uh, let me get a picture actually of the box art for the MSX version. All this loads. Yeah. I'm trying to... I, one of the things is I am trying to uh, move on from using the uh, RetroArch as much as I possibly can, but like today, I couldn't really avoid it because it's one of the more less annoying ways of doing a PC-88. Okay. So... There in the corner is the box art for uh, the MSX version. Also, this court, it's going to, might be a little bit finicky. Because as I said, this is still in beta. So what options we got? Uh, endless. So we can set ourselves to infinite lives, which is in, in, uh, interesting right out the box. Uh, there are There is some orange, orange music. Uh, and I think it's meant to emulate a uh, 31 kilohertz display, so I think we're going to use that. So. So yeah, it's pretty close to arcade. Oh, so that's a good dragon. <laughs> I 
Oop. Also, oh, this arrangement is really good. Oh, you can jump that whole thing? Damn it. But yeah, it's a real shame this game doesn't get a whole lot of love. This game is really neat. Oh no. I don't know if I'd say it's better than Bubble Bobble, but it's pretty good. Oh. I had the moon come out and then... Apparently... Oh, visually? I could... yeah. I would say yes and no. I think the individual sprites are better. Uh, like, they're more detailed in Bubble Bobble, but... This one, they are more... Well, I should say, they're more colorful in Bubble Bobble. In this, they're more technically... I can appreciate a game that has a whole bunch of uh, different death animations. It helps that this doesn't seem quite as, like, sadistic about it.
Oh, okay. Yeah. They definitely were. Like, I haven't shown off, uh... <laughs> There's another game I kind of mean to... That I actually do have on my Switch as well, that they have in the Arcade Archive, uh, called uh, Rye Maze. It's another Taito... Uh, arcade game. That has a lady protagonist. That's really cool. I wasn't planning to play this much of this game, but this game's really good, so... <laughs> Whatever. Nope. Forgot to shoot. This is true. Keep up the good work. Oh, it's the oh, good, the worm's back. Oh, you can take other enemies. Oh, wow, that's... <laughs> Just smoke them. I just kind of feel bad.
Oops. What is Draculusk? Where is the diamond? Hot loser. <laughs> oh, well. It's okay, I've, I'd be lying if I had not done something similar to that. Look at the other door. Oh, it pushed me into it. My hubris of trying to get that thing eaten.
Hey, why don't you come in here? Okay, there we go. Got myself in a little pickle. Uh oh, I think I'm screwed. Nope. Good to know. Oh. I know that there's it's. I know that at some point the music changes. And I hope it's not level 50. Yeah, that's a bit ludicrous. Perfect. Yep, I have a feeling that that was going to happen. Okay. Okay, I think I'm gonna give this one more attempt and then I think I might be good. See, so yeah, like, how do I get... I feel like there's a trick that I'm not in the knowledge of.
All right, I think that's gonna be good on this. So, I'm gonna close that out. And let's re-rank that. I think we had this pretty high, which I think it's definitely deservedly so. Nope, he's the finished now event. Where is the Fairyland story? We have it at three. Which, to be honest, I think that's actually pretty appropriate. Yeah, that puts it in arcade games, it puts it along with Armored Warriors, Mold Mania, Mega Man 2, Mappy. Yeah, I think it's good at 3. Because we're looking at two, we got Typing the Dead, Jumping Flash 2, Fantasy Zone. Yeah, I think the Fairyland story is good at three. Uh, definitely Earworm for music. Uh, charm is absolutely there. It is definitely cute. Um, you know, I'm just going to say Simply Fun. Also, you know what? I'm gonna have to give the art thumbs up. Uh, one thing I am gonna do is... Uh... I'm gonna do this, because I feel like the mechanics are a little bit confusing. I think this is something we also put with Bubble Wobble. It's just a very confusing game. Yeah. Um, actually, the other thing that I've put... I think the gameplay is actually really fun. So... I think that's good for re-ranking the Fairyland story. Uh, it is a very neat game. Also, I forgot to uh, change the uh, thing on the side. Whoops. Yeah, it's too late now. Well, anyway, that is going to do it for today. Um, yeah, it does kind of have the... Uh, a feeling of like modernity, I guess. That's not a word, but still. Um, yeah, it's just a really, really fun game. Yeah. Anyway, uh, with that, I'm thank you all for watching, and let's talk about what we're doing on Friday. So, Thank you all for watching again. Personal Twitter's at Load of Puzzle. Uh, Discord you can find by going to Discord, the LDP out life in your browser. Shout out to the community, take part in polls, and I occasionally put stuff on for uh, Media Delta that we can watch. Um, there's also Patreon, two and five dollar tiers, helps with hosting costs and various other things. Um, if you want to watch these live, like if you're watching a VOD now, twitch.tv slash load the puzzle, Fridays at 7.30 p.m. Eastern time, Saturdays at 2.30 p.m. Eastern time, and Sundays at 1 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, there is also, uh, if you do want to watch VOD, uh, youtube.ldp.life um, is where you can find my YouTube channel. Uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday uploads a uh, slightly higher quality. This one will be up on or, uh, Friday. Uh, there's also the podcast channel, which you can uh, listen to audio versions of the two shows that are exclusive to the YouTube channel, Media Delta and Hazeltown Story. Those episodes get uploaded Thursdays at 8 a.m. Eastern. You can also find it by go looking up WLDP Hazeltown Radio in your podcatcher of choice. So on Friday, it's April 1st, which means everyone does goofy stuff and also makes horrible, like, every it's everyone's trying to be funny, but usually it doesn't. So what we're doing instead is we are going to be taking, it'll be a sort of retro rank rhapsody, except... Instead of games, we're taking a look at food items. Uh, so we're going to be doing 
taking the Retro-Rank Rhapsody formula and applying it to things like cherry in restaurants, pizza toppings, um, soda, I think was one, and I'm not fully certain what the full list will be, but I'll have to check when I do it on Friday. So, uh, if all is to be planned, as I assume, uh, Bear should be streaming uh, VR chat actually uh, with uh, a good good Rue by the name of Kellef. Uh, let me check something. All right. Yep, I believe that should be the case. So I'm going to send you all over to Bear. And I hope you have a good whatever time zone it is. And I hope your week's good. So thank you all for watching. And I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.